Uh, the other one I want you guys to download is hash my files. All right. Type this in hash my files, and the first uh, link you see is right here. Click on it. You're going to see this weird page. Just scroll all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Yeah, it takes a while to load. Trash virtual machine. Scroll all the way. No, 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 go up, go up, go up. It's supposed to be around here somewhere. Hold up, let me see. Where is it? Where is it? Sorry, sorry. Okay, there you go. Until you see download hash my files for 64 bit systems. Click on that. Right here, it's a zip. Minimize this. Drag this to the middle as well. Don't worry. I'm going to explain to you why we need this. But right now, just follow my lead. Extract. Hold up. Let me put this in a folder. Because I don't want it to spit on my computer. Uh, just hash. Right here. Extract all. Okay. Right here. Remember, the one in the middle, we're going to be needing that. So... Let me just leave it off to the side for now. Exit out of that. All right, don't worry. I'm gonna put this in the link of the description, but right now, I want you guys to download this right here, Nano Core. Remember, Nano Core. And the next one I need you to download is, hold up, I'll put the link in. You don't need to worry about it. Hold up, did it type? Malware, okay. Don't worry, I'll get it quickly. This is a really good website. I'm gonna at the end of the video I'm gonna show you where to go if you want to learn more. Uh where is it? Where is it? Right here. Go all the way down. Don't worry, this one will be in the link of the description. I'm just doing all the hard work right now. Click that too. Alright. Grab this. Put nanocore right next to these ones. And then uh for uh this one, 2014, leave it to the side for now. There's a reason why I downloaded two because uh, for one of the questions I have for this for this investigation, it's not in one of the PCAPs. I'll, I'll show you why. All right, I think it's safe to say exit out of everything. Okay, yeah. Okay, this one. Let's make a new folder. Let's keep everything organized. Let's name it PCAP. Put it right next to Wireshark. Move this in here. Move this in here too. All right. Nano core, we're gonna extract it here. All right, we're about to get to the fun part. Get ready, guys. All right, the password is infected, all lowercase. Let me show you. Oh, it doesn't let me show you in lowercase. I mean, it doesn't let me show you the actual words. It's lowercase infected. All right, this is the first one. Here, hold up, let me, I feel like some of you guys might get confused. Let me just show you the password, what it looks like, so nobody complains. Right here, infected. That's it. That's the password. Sorry, I just don't want anyone, you know, getting confused. I want to make sure this video is clear as hell. All right, exit out of that. No, I don't want to save. Get the hell out of here. All right, now comes the fun part. Is that everything? Remember, the 2014 one, we're going to be dealing with that in a bit. I'm going to show you why. All right, let's open this up. All right, let's get right into it. Okay, now we have this PCAP. There's a bunch of data right here. I know it's confusing, but don't worry. I'll try to get you through this. So basically, basically malware traffic analysis is basically finding malware in a PCAP file. A PCAP file is basically like a conversation between one computer and another, just basically talking to each other. And we want to see what the hell is going on between them. So right now, a bunch of data. We have IP addresses everywhere. In order to understand Wireshark, you got to know the basics of uh, networking. So the first thing we want to do is we see all this crap, right? We want to remove this. Just follow my lead. Right-click on numbers and remove that. Uncheck that. We don't want to see that crap. And then what else? In the length, right-click it. Get the hell out of here. All right, now we have this. And then we want to. what we want to do is we want to go to... Uh, we want to change the timing too. If I'm not wrong, let's. Where's the timing? View. We go to view, time display format, and just do the first one. Hopefully, this is the best one. Make sure you stretch it out. See right here, it shows that uh, two arrows going. You know, stretch it out if you know what I mean. Right here. Okay, that looks good. All right. 
the next step. Now we want to add columns. You see how I remove columns? We want to add some. All right, right click any of the tabs and then go to column preferences. Preferences. I can't even speak today. All right, what we want to do is we want to click that plus button, right? Add two, add two plus buttons, right? And then we want to type source port, right? And we want to go to this one, scroll down until you see source port unresolved, unresolved. And then for the second one that we added, click, uh, I mean, uh, add DST port. Hopefully this is clear. If nothing's clear in the video, just tell me. Don't be scared to say it. I'll take the criticism. Where is the uh, source port? Destination port. Look for destination port. DSD, DSD. Uh, I can't find it. Okay. Destination report. No, that's address right here. Found it. Now we click OK. All right, where did they go? They're on the side. They're on the side right here. Grab them, drag them to the right. Put it next to source. Remember, stretch. Oh, shoot. Hold up. Stretch this out. It doesn't let me stretch it out. Hold up. Yeah. This thing's being stupid. And for the destination port, grab it, put it after destination. So now uh, we need a, uh, I think that looks, okay, hold up. Right click this and then click on line center. That looks beautiful. All right. Is that everything? Oh, there's one more thing I need to show you guys. You see the filter bar right here? We can filter for IP addresses we want to see and like protocols like HTTP. Let me show you HTTP. So Put this, put HTTP in the filter. I'm gonna show you why real quick. Click on, uh, click on uh, the first one, and then click Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Minimize the uh, bottom one, and then you see where it says host. Right click it, and uh, where is it? Apply as column. Okay, that is way better. So right now we have like the basic setup for Wireshark, and now we're gonna go into the questions, the investigation questions. Let me show you.